In today's shave, I'm using The Duo by Zingari Man, coming right up. Hello and welcome back to the Latherhug channel. I'm your host John, and today I'll be bringing you first impressions on a brand new set to the den, and that's a collaboration between Zingari Man and BBS Live, and that is The Duo. Every other week, Nate and Mel are kind of just really talking off the cuff, enjoying some bourbon, and offering some great giveaways. Now, they first started by just you know, picking up items and straight up giving items from their own shave dens um, out to viewers. And from there, other artisans and even vendors jumped on board, adding to the giveaways. So it's a very lively crowd. The show can last anywhere from three to four hours on Instagram. It's one of those things you can jump in and out of for sure. And you know, if you're interested at all, please follow them at uh, bbs.live on Instagram. I'll have a link below so you can click and give them a follow. Being a big fan of BBS Live and Nate and Mel, I was really excited when they announced this collaboration uh, with Heather from Zingari Man, the duo. Appropriately, this is a you know bourbon-based scent. BBS is a well-known acronym in the wet shaving world for Baby Butt Smooth. I do believe that they also, uh, for the show at least, it's bald bourbon shaving. Anyway, the logo is solid. You, know, you can see the Glencairn glass here, which is one used by whiskey aficionados everywhere. Uh, that really enhances the, the scent experience for bourbon. And uh, speaking of scent experience, uh, I did open this earlier, but I do want to give a sniff to the tub. And first and foremost, I do want to mention that it's a very light scent uh, off the tub. It's about probably around a three, four max um, out of 10. And what I'm getting initially and what I think will open up more, I'm getting almost a sweet baked good kind of smell. It has some spice in it, even something like a pumpkin bread or banana bread. Um, it's got some spice, spices, some sweetness, and maybe just some slight some slight woodiness, you know, probably oak from the bourbon, but I'm really curious, I'm really curious how this might change uh, and hopefully open up a little bit more when I, uh, when I lather it. Similarly, while I'm recording this in the evening, I unboxed this earlier and put some on, you know, just during the morning. Um, the scent in the aftershave splash was also very, very light. So I wonder, I wanted to, you know, in a proper shave and put together what we'll get today. So. Now quickly, just to show you what other gear we'll be using today, I am also taking out for the spin for the first time, a Rockwell 6S. Uh, this is on loan from my good friend Gerard, and we'll be using the R4 plate. And this is loaded with a fresh new Pulse Silver Super Iridium blade. Uh, part of the reason why I asked Gerard to borrow this was I kind of recently got reacquainted and fell in love again with my Rockwell 6C, the chrome one, and really curious, yeah, how the 6S stands up. I, I've read before, you know, some minor differences between the two, but um, really solid razor overall. So uh, yeah, really excited to use this guy. Now for the brush, I'm going with the Razor Rock BC plus soft silver tip. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter, excellent synthetic brush. Uh, I forgot to mention that the BBS Live Soap, uh, the Duo, is featured in the brand new, or it's brand new updated vegan soap base from Zingari Man. So it's a brand new base, and for that reason, we're going with a familiar synthetic knot. We're also gonna go with the Pereira Shave Bowl. Uh, I, I feel like when I've been using soaps, kind of getting to know its properties better, um, it would make sense for a brand new soap that I can control, you know, or have more control over it in a shave bowl. So we'll be doing this off camera and coming back, I'll be sure to show you uh, what the resulting lather is. All right, so here we have the resulting lather. I will say that as I scoop the soap into, into the bowl, it is quite soft, uh, probably a you know, similar softness to the tallow base called Seago from Zingari Man. So I'm gonna wet my face. Get a little water on there. Within the bowl, the soap, the scent strength didn't go um, too much more, but 
I can smell it pre pretty easily as I'm applying it to the face. I mean, if you're looking for, you know, super strong in your face scent, uh, it's not gonna be in this soap, unfortunately. And as far as my personal preference, I wouldn't mind if this is dialed up a bit more. Um, I'm personally a huge fan of bourbon. In the fragrance, you know, for the duo, one whole bottle of Buffalo Trace bourbon, an excellent bourbon um, to start out with, if anyone is looking to get into bourbon. But one whole, one whole bottle went in. And I think I do get a little bit of sweetness from vanilla. Which is kind of one of those notes, you know, the notes that you try to get out of a bourbon are, are similar to the ones I'm getting here. Like, you know, very, it's a foodie slash gourmand scent. Again, that sweetness from like a spiced baked good, that's kind of the, the predominant thing I'm getting. I know some friends, multiple friends have gotten cookie dough from it too. I think that's a little bit of the of the base. Maybe gave him that vibe. And on the label um, of the of the toner and, and the soap too, uh, the listed notes are bourbon, sandalwood, and oak wood. And I do I do get actually I do get more of that oakiness coming out right now. Oak and sandalwood. Kind of, you know, just coming up from the back. Earlier today, I was also able to get a nice haircut. So um, my sideburns and the my hair in general is going a little wild. So it's nice to be fresh and clean for, for you guys today. We're working with two days worth of beard growth for those keeping count at home. I, I feel like the, the new vegan base was of moderate thirst. As I was building the lather in the bowl, I did add you know droplets of water maybe like three or four times. And I did work the lather for a bit because um, it took a little bit for it to build up. Not to say that I was looking for a really fluffy, cloudy la uh, lather, but in lathering in the bowl, I kind of worked at it for, uh, for, for a few minutes and got to a nice consistency Definitely more volume than when I started. I think had I not worked at it a little bit longer, um, it would have been a bit, a, a bit too pasty. And so far I'm really liking the, the Rockwell 6S, the added weight, which I really enjoy really enhances because it feels like uh, R4 plate is my most used plate on my Rockwell 6C. And that's, you know, that's feeling familiar. But after using this a few more times, might be time to pick up a, <laughs> might be time to pick up a 6S, which that's part of it too. I, I was thinking about picking one up anyway and using one before buying one. That way I don't have to blind buy it. It would be great. All right, so first pass is down. No issues whatsoever. Going um, back to the scent on the Duo. I'm not getting too much booziness. And as I mentioned before, the baked good thing, um, it's there's sweetness in here, but it's not cloying by any means. I want to say it's a very enjoyable scent. Um, the biggest issue here, and I think you might hear this from other folks too, is just wanting more, you know, 
wanting the center strength to be dialed up a bit more. I'm not sure if that's possible, uh, given that uh, Heather from Zingari Man uh, is very, and she puts skincare at the forefront, I feel, of her brand. And in general, tries to minimize anything, you know, any variables that would potentially give irritation. I mean, there's only so much I think anyone can do about skin irritation, but you have responsible levels of fragrance oil, avoiding certain products, whether in the soap itself or the fragrance. Yeah, those are all things I know that um, she does very intentionally. It's mild, but you know what? Like, I, I would say the scent is solid. I'm trying to think to, uh, if I've used anything or own anything that's similar, but I don't think so. Nothing comes immediately to mind. Recently I used some really, really woody, kind of dry or darker woody scents um, in Panacrama Nuevia Rosa, which also reminded me of Talbot Shaving Authors Ridge. And if you're looking for, a, you know, like a wood bomb of a fragrance and, you know, kind of actually pretty, um, pretty fierce scent strength, both, both are, both will do it for you. I will say it was really fun filming my last video, uh, which we, which we, which I did the unboxing and bourbon. I've been really getting into bourbon since uh, around March or April, and to bring, I don't know, to include that enjoyment on this channel was actually quite fun. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> all right. Against the green pass, it's all set here. Looks like I missed a spot right on my mustache area. So we'll include that as part of the cleanup. Kind of, you can see the remnants of the lather here. I thought I put a hefty scoop into my lather bowl, but in the end, I, I didn't come out with crazy amounts of lather. I think just the right amount. I would say it's probably just, I showed the smear before, but I, I wanna say it's like somewhere between a quarter and half dollar size. Again, these are first impressions. So I know with the soap base, um, I feel like it's pretty, pretty dialed in. I'm taking a closer look. Quite possibly could use a little bit more water. But as far as slickness goes, no issue. It was moderate thirst, maybe possibly above average thirst. but not too finicky. That's a little better. It looked like it was dry, drying out a bit fast, so. The main thing though is I, I really wanted to dig in and experience the scent of this one. 
as I also mentioned before, you know, soap bases are really excellent. I mean, Zingari has that excellent Seago base, which is tallow, and a kind of a V2 of the vegan existed with a release from, um, with a scent called The Tribe, which I had picked up. I thought that was excellent too. Enough so where I'm not really ever worrying about performance when it comes to Zingari. And I wanna I've kind of, you know, just as uh, as a consumer, really not chasing bases anymore. It's either you know supporting this collaboration, um, which you know some friends are a part of, um, or a really interesting scent. That's kind of what's got me going, or that's what's driven my purchases. I think uh, for the past month or two. Lord knows I have enough soaps and things in my den where um, that's still being slowly whittled down. One thing I did want to forget is to use my leftover lather as a post shave, which was something um, that Panacrama Nuevia recommended. Also, um, Peter Tricalis from a and &E recommend doing that with his K2 Kaizen 2 base. All right, so I'm gonna leave, <laughs> leave that on there while I finish uh, cleaning up around here. All right, so the shave is all done. Uh, I gotta say, first with the Rockwell 6S, I really liked it. I mean, it shouldn't be that big a surprise, but the added weight, uh, the familiarity of, you know, the, the, the feel and uh, what to expect for the efficiency, spot on. So, man, that I know I talked about, you know, kind of, whittling down the shave den, but that might be, uh, maybe I can unload a few razors and uh, justify the purchase <laughs> of, uh, of one of those, because I don't think I'd get rid of my Rockwell 6C. I probably would keep the 6C and add a 6S. Now to wrap up with the recovery splash for the Duo, it's a shake. I know some folks are um, you're not excited or not down with the recovery splash because they want that alcohol burn. But I say at least give it a try. If there's a scent that you'd like from Zingari Man, try, you know, try one of the matching splashes. Try an unscented one if you want. It's such a nice, uh, nice consistency. But it kind of gives, uh, I, re I just really like how it, it kind of absorbs the skin really fast and dries down real nice as if you put a little bit of uh, like a light balm on. Yep, the scent, the scent is low in this in the splash. It's there, you know, don't get me wrong, it's there, but it's light as well. I'm not sure if, you know, past half an hour, I'm really gonna be getting too much of this scent. Uh, I'll have to, uh, I'll put a little update here to see about how long, you know, long longevity uh, we have, that the duo goes for. Oh. All right, so in wrapping things up, today we use Zagari Man and BBS Live's The Duo. A very pleasant scent. Uh, again, this is, you know, bourbon lovers, um, foodies. It's, it's a gourmand type scent. There's some woodiness in there. I will say the biggest drawback is the the light scent strength i think that's gonna um if i had some sort of scoring system that would knock off a few points but the scent itself is very enjoyable uh, in both you know the uh the soap and the splash the new soap base you know no no problems there uh we'll have to put it a little bit more to the test uh but I'm not sure if I like it better than the Seagull, the Seagull base. Uh, that one's easily one of my, I think one of my top five. And um, this is an excellent base, don't get me wrong, the updated uh, vegan base. But I'll need a few more shaves before I really kind of form my uh, complete thoughts on that. 
If you guys at home picked up this set as well, I'd love to hear what your experience has been. Uh, sense strength, is it too light for you? Is it just right? Is it too strong? Whatever it might be, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Lastly, I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping by, tuning in for today's shave. I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.